Cephalops. That's the video. That's what we're doing today, okay? Five Cephalopses. But before we hop into the video, I would like to make a trade offer. I receive your subscription. You receive free videos and maybe potentially even streams every single day for free. Why aren't you subscribed already? Do it. Anyway, <laughs> well being said, okay, we got all of my Cephalopses, okay? I've got my Alpha one, my Gamma one. Now, I haven't got a secret ability one, unfortunately. I just haven't gone for one yet because I just haven't really used one. So instead, I got a melee one. Unfortunately, the only melee attack right now that Cephalops actually has is um, Aqua Jaw. So I've got a melee attacking one. I have a melee defense one that also is a melee attack one and a ranged defense one. And yeah, hopefully we can win, but I really don't bet on it. Also, uh, this is really unfortunate. Also, I just realized none of my Cephalopses have Frostbeam anymore. I, probably would have been a good idea to actually give one of them frost beam so yeah also my alpha one is the one i've been using i actually did a video on it recently going over the new set that people are running rival and frost beam people are just dropping it for either barter or hypnotize they're gonna actually set up on me no 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 what do you think you're doing okay well let's actually swap out because um my melee one actually has square one and I can also just keep aqua drawing it, which is very nice. So uh, I think that's actually no, 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 even better. Let's go into the melee defense one because I have the barter on it, okay? So I can make it really, really slow. So yeah, probably would have been really nice if I had an ice move. I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. So um, yeah, but anyway. Here, are they going to wake up instantly? I don't know. I can always square one lit. So, so let's, let's go for the barter first, okay? Give them the slowest item and then I can square one get rid of all of their um, attacks increases and then I can start aqua drawing it to oh, I actually got a water essence nice because that's the only move I have so very really nice okay let's go for square one now they actually might wake up this turn I think but I'm gonna square one get rid of all of their stats they're gonna wake up and they're gonna go for a ferroblast nice that is still enough to two shot low oh no that is still still really bad but anyway we can actually go for the actually I can tease Let's actually tease it. I'm probably gonna- actually, no, 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 no. This actually is fine, because if I go for tease, they can't go for Aqua Jaws this turn. I, I mean, Ferroblast this turn, right? Okay, they actually can. Okay, I mean, I, I, I guess it's next turn then that they can't. So, um, now they can't go for Ferroblast, which means we should be good here, so... Now which one do I go into? Do I go back into this one and, like, hip do I go into this one to Hypnotize? What do you have? Hypnotize, uh, I think I'm just gonna go into my uh, my normal one, right? Maybe. Hmm. What's a good idea here? Yeah, I think we're going to my normal one. Like, it's a Deladrix, okay? Yeah, it resists my moves, but I probably still two shot it anyway, so I probably didn't need to like decrease its stats, but whatever, okay? Whatever. Anyway, let's just go for the soldier. I could have probably hypnotized it first, but we'll see. Uh, it's close enough to a two shot. It's close enough, okay? Peace of mind. Again, really? You're getting so greedy, man. You're getting really, really greedy. We, d we don't like that, okay? Okay, let's go for Hypnotize then. I'll try and put it back to sleep. Just be really, really annoying, okay? I, I land it again. Let's go, man. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I am so annoying. Okay, now let's get my Icicle Trap set up, okay? And then we'll hit it with another... Actually, I think I Tsunami at first and then I saw Drain it, but I just want to, like, get rid of it, basically. So, um, yeah. Because if, if I Tsunami, it still probably will wake up, so I'm just going to Soul Drain just to hit it as hard as possible, basically. Yeah, good enough. Actually, maybe Tsunami wouldn't have one-shotted it, but even then, Tsunami, if, if it did stay asleep, or I, he critical hit me as well, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have one-shotted me, but that's really unfortunate. So, uh, big rip. He's out of energy low now, but I've already lost two Cephalopses, which is really bad. Really bad. So, um, oh no. Let's go into the, um, the melee one, I guess. Right? Yeah, we'll, we'll go into the melee one. Okay, although this one probably might get one shot because it has, like, no real defenses on it. So, uh, we will see. Let's go for Aqua Jaws then. I don't think they have enough. Yeah, they don't have enough energy, so I can just aqua draw it twice. My first one probably won't do that much, maybe. We'll see. Actually, just take it out. Also, Deladrix has no defenses, so you'll have to see it. Okay, what's next? Come on. I got three Cephalopses left, okay? I should be able to, like, maybe potentially tie this up. I got my Icicle Traps down. I think they might have Garbantis. I don't actually remember. Gobidemic. 
Okay, that one is a, a little bit... That's really, really bad, actually. Hypnotize again! Please tank it, Melee Cephalops, please! Also, I actually nicknamed them because it's just a little bit easier to track which ones I'm actually using. I tank it! Please hit again! Yes, we hit again! We hit again! Okay, then. Now... Um, well... Well, it doesn't really matter that I hit it because, I mean, it's only an Aqua Jaw, so... Don't wake up straight away, please. I would like to get another Aqua Jaw and get as much as I can. Oh, no, they definitely woke up. That did a way more than I thought it would. I should have just done that the first turn, to be honest, but oh well. Miss. Please, just somehow, just somehow miss. Trip Root? That's going to take me out still. Well, dang it. I don't think we're going to win this one, okay, but I think we're giving it a pretty good attempt, okay? I mean, if we have any sort of bug types or, like, Gobidemic, I'm going to lose a lot of them, okay? But hey, at least the, this one actually came in handy for the uh, Deladrix, although... Kind of wish I saved it for the Gobidemic now, but oh well. Because we can just go into uh, probably this one, my my range tank one. Take a hit, probably get rid of it with Soldrin and get some of our health back at least. Could actually dodge, but there's no point right now, so just Soldrin. So yeah, I, I I can definitely see now that not that did a lot of death and it got the poison. That's really unlucky. To say that this is the range defensive one, that still did a lot of damage. Like, boy. Why? Why do you hit so hard? So yeah, but I probably should have brought uh, a frost beam that would help me more out with bug types. To be honest, like Deladrix, I could hit it neutrally at least, but oh well. But, yep, Garbantis. Well, at least Icicle Traps helps a little bit there, but um, yeah. Let's go for... It's not really worth dodging. I'm probably going to get one shot either way. There's nothing I can really do with this unless I somehow have him miss... And I hypnotize him, but it's not really worth it. I'll soldier in. He's gonna go for the battering ram, and I am pretty sure we are dead. This is like the worst team to. F and he got a critical hit. Well, at least it's not gonna. It didn't critical hit my last one, right? Because I might live a hit from it. We'll see. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, Cephalops, it's your time. I could soldier in. That might still potentially KO it, and I can get a lot of my health back, but I don't think it's really worth it, because if I don't KO it, I just die. So, I might as well go for the tsunami base, because just take it out. As long as it actually goes for the poison. Interesting. I'll take it a little. But the Gamma Cephalops looks so good. I rarely use this thing, but... It, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Gamma Cephalops, but boy. It just looks so cool with, like, the whisk going around it and everything. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, also the next ones. Like I said, this is the worst team to fight against. He has two bug types that I'm scared about. And he has a Gobidemic as well. Like, bruh. How, you can't make that team any worse, really. Except for, like, giving it Protogun and it... Um, traps me into the same move over and over again. Anyway, let's go for... It's not worth it me hypnotizing, I don't think. I think I'd rather go for the uh, Tsunami this turn to do as much damage as I can. Or oh, actually, he outspeeds me. That's fine, because I don't have much speed on this one. And now I should have gone for the Tsunami. I mean, uh, the, Dar the Dark Souls, no. Soul Drain, because now I think he can KO me. No, I think that actually might be game. I actually goes for the Rejuvenate. I should have gone for the Soul Drain straight away. It's not going to do as much damage, but I get health back. Although I am on a timer because of um, Poison, so it doesn't really matter either way. So they can just basically keep spamming Rejuvenate, and I, I basically lose, unfortunately. So, yeah, but oh well. Rejuvenate, they can't go for one more, but they can go for one Thunder Chomp, and I'm going to be so low on health. And if I want to K away, I have to go for Tsunami now, which means... Even if he doesn't one-shot me or he misses, I'm going to go down to poison this turn. Miss? No. And rip. Well, first battle didn't really go out very well, but let's hop into another one, okay? We might do a little bit better. Okay, then. Hopping into the next battle, then. We have a pretty decent team, I'd say. I think I can potentially get around all of these. Hunter's going to be a slightly annoying, but it's not going to, like, one-shot all of them. And I can just probably one-shot it back with a water move tsunami with uh, my alpha or gamma one. The biggest issue, I guess, is probably going to be the... is this, I guess, but if it's got no range defense, I can probably deal with it, but it is going to hit pretty hard, so I think that'll be fine. Anyway, I'm going to lead off with my melee tanky one, uh, just to potentially, like, trade it for the, uh, to clips or the, um, Vesperatu, or if it's just the, uh, Colossotrops, I can get rid of its, uh, Volcanic Ash. It's actually Ventation. Well, not really worth me doing anything with this one, so, um... Yeah, not really a great lead for me, unfortunately. Hmm, what, what should I do here? Because I can't really heal on this one, and I would like to save that 
uh, item for later, so I could swap out into my, one of my normal ones, but it depends on how hard this thing is going to hit, so let's go into my Gamma one. My, my, PV, my actual PvP one, my Alpha one, is worth keeping over every other one, because that's the one that's going to do the most damage and tank the most effective, so yeah. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Just calm down, man. Calm down. That did way too much damage. Okay, I'm just gonna soldier in. Oh, he actually outspeeds me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Wait, we can talk about this. We can talk about this, I swear. Well, that didn't go very well. Uh, turns out it actually outspeeds me, which, um,. I guess isn't too big of an issue, like too big of a surprise, but I did not really expect that. Please, I need Cephalops. I need you to at least outspeed him. My Gamma One just got absolutely destroyed, like absolutely destroyed. It was the last one that got fainted in the in the first battle, and I was the first one to get killed. Okay, at least this one outspeeds it. So the, my UPs and my Gamma One definitely mods, definitely mods. Okay, then, and see you later. Oh, he's gonna go into. Actually, not gonna go into Eclipse. I'll take it. Well, see you later, Vintation. That was basically the biggest threat, okay? I need to keep track as well of what they actually have, because I always forget teams. Um, surprisingly, they didn't go into Eclipse, though, which is interesting. There's a Hunter. This one is, unfortunately, straight up deaded, which is really unfortunate. Um, I guess we go into our range tanky one after this one. Oh, I don't have... No, these are the only two that I have with, like, Tsunami. Uh, no, I gave up my Gamma Wand. I don't think I can one-shot this with Aqua Jar. Thunder Charm. It would have been great if it would have missed. It would have been absolutely great if it missed, but clearly it didn't. Okay, Len. Um, do I go into this and just like... Yeah, I, I think that's probably my best bet now. Go into this one. Heavy Shackles it. Or Bastard it to give it Heavy Shackles. Because I don't think Aqua Jar is going to be enough to one-shot it. So if I Bastard it... I can make it slower, basically just sacrificing this one, just to specifically get rid of this hunter. Also, that is not a great idea. I don't know why he went for the Mega Chomp. I guess he might have misclicked. That's kind of interesting, but hey, I got Power Cuss now, which I do more damage. I'm not going to complain about that, am I? And now we can Aqua Jar it, okay? Nice. Just barely a two-shot, if I didn't get the melee defense drop. And that's also with Power Cuff, so yeah. I wouldn't have even two-shotted it. Because this has, like, no melee attack. Only my melee one has melee attack. But anyway, see you later, Hunter. You deserve this, man. You deserve it. And now that's our biggest two threats gone. Hunter and Ventation, although we are at a little bit of a disadvantage because we have two Cephalopses full health. They have three Lumions full health. And my third melee defense one is, like, one third health. So, um, yeah, still gonna be a little bit interesting. Okay. Vesperat is coming out. Interesting. Um, I'll just Aqua Jar it, I guess. Do I live? I mean, I, I should actually live because melee defense one. We do live. Nice. Okay. Um, again, Tsunami here would be absolutely amazing because my only my range attacking one now, my range defense one, only has Soul Drain. So the only thing I have left to really hit this thing with is my melee one. So right now we are at a... Still a big disadvantage. Still a big... Oh, and even worse, if he has to clips left and this one gets KO'd, I, and if it's secret ability, I can't hit it. <laughs> I literally just physically can't hit it with this. <laughs> so, um, oh no. That really isn't good. Anyway, we've already loaded its melee defense by one stage, so I'm going to go into this one now, and I guess just hit Aqua Drop. Hopefully, I only need to click it two more times, but we'll see. Slap down... That's fine. Does a decent amount of damage, but I mean, we're, we're a bulky t dark type. I mean, nice. Aqua Jaw, please do good damage. Oh, that is definitely enough to KO it here. That is enough to KO it. Our only issue, though, is trying to take out the Teclips. If we brought it, that's really it. Don't critical hit me, I swear. Thank you. I might live a hit. Uh, actually, I don't think I can live a hit from Raging Howl from a uh, Teclips. I don't think I do. That's Vesperato down, at least. Yep, there's the Eclipse. Well, they have it. Uh, let's see if we live. <laughs> because I don't really know if I am. So, Aqua Jaw. Well, unfortunately as well, even if I do live, I'm not going to KO it. <laughs> I'm just not going to KO it in one shot, right? And they have Gamma Pulse. Yeah, I died. I died. No! Stop, please. This is unfair. 
So this is actually probably a really offensive one because it has Gamma Pulse. I'm going to assume Raging Howl and um, Gluminous Draw. Some people do like running all of them. Well, I don't really have much to do here, so let's go for the Hypnotize first turn, okay? There's the uh, Gloomer also, I did call it right. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Calm down. Okay, let's... Also, this has a Health Amulet, so that's why I gave it Dodge and Hypnotize. Just also try and get as much health as possible. Now I'm going to tease it, just so it can't go for Gamma Pulse, like, two times in a row. It has to, like, go back and forth, but still. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting... That, that nerf hasn't happened yet, so I actually can't tease it. I keep forgetting because we are going to do a, an update where Teclipse's secret ability doesn't absorb uh, Dark-type support moves like Tease. Square 1, I think, gets absorbed as well. It's not meant to absorb loads, basically, anymore. It's just going to absorb attacking moves. I keep forgetting that hasn't ha happened yet. So, uh, yeah. Turns out, <laughs> I, I was right. I can't hit the Teclipse. See you later, Cluster Trops. And now, unfortunately, I'm, I'm full health at least, right? But what do I do? I can't, I literally physically can't touch the Eclipse. I physically can't touch it. Like, there is nothing I can do here. Like, literally nothing. So, um, let's just go for Soul Drain. There's no point in me going for any other move. I need to Soul Drain three times. I, I might be able to, like, hypnotize it, actually. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't have anything to hit it with. Anything. Soldier in again. Oh, okay, I actually woke up. Um, Gamma Pulse. Ah! Oh! Chill! Chill! You, you, you like, give me, like, one free turn, okay? I'm gonna basically, like, recon myself anyway, but let's go for the Hypnotize. Come on, miss. Something. No, okay. Well, that didn't go very well at all. This is really looking difficult to actually win with a full team of Seth Flops. Is, to say that this might be the best looming in the game is... I'm not fighting the best teams, okay? Well, our third battle, and I think I think this one probably leaked what my team was, because usually people don't enter a battle with just one Lumion, let alone it being a Terror Claw, so I'm going to assume people leaked what team I'm using, so I'm actually going to do it, though, because Terror Claw might actually sweep me, um, so I actually want to see, because I don't have Frost Beam, so the only thing I can really do with it is Aqua Jory, I guess, really, but anyway. Hypnotize, so yeah, I'm going to assume someone leaked my team because it happens all the freaking time. So stop doing it, you. I, I stop, stop leaking my teams. It makes it like ten times, like literally ten times harder to actually win with dumb teams like this. Okay, stop, stop right now. It's, it actually makes it way more difficult than you actually think because. People know what I'm you're gonna be using, so they bring a li literal counter to my team to beat me and brag about beating me. Even though they knew what my team was, and they brought an entire counter. I know. Let me guess, Parasitize? Yeah. That is a big rip. Does he get all of his health back? Please don't give him all of his health back, please. What am I meant to do? <laughs> what am I meant to do here, okay? I'm gonna go for Hypnotize. I, I think I I've got a plan, okay? We I have a plan. Galaxy Brain Plan. There's only one thing I can really do, okay? Let's hypnotize it. Unfortunately, I miss, which is fine, I guess. Parasitize, that's fine. Just take it out, okay, before I before you get any more health. I'm gonna have to, like, try and waste this energy, put it to sleep, and aqua jar it. That's really it. Also, I guess I could give it heavy... I could. I guess I could battery as well, but I don't think that's really gonna matter. Um, so, let me think about this really quickly. You're my melee one with hypnotize. We're gonna go into you first. First, and you have Tease right as well. No, you don't. Oh no, Tease would be amazing here. Tease would actually be amazing here. Okay, let's go into you, Len, my ranged tanky one. We're gonna hypnotize it, tease it. Or do I tease first? No, I, I hypnotize first. I hypnotize first. I tease it. I, if, if I miss the hypnotize. I should have teased it first, but it's fine. We actually hit it. Now I'm gonna tease it. And then we're going to I guess Soul Drain. The the plan is here is to hopefully like have him wake up in a couple of turns. I don't really hit it. Then I put it back to sleep, and then I go back into my Aqua Jaw one. That's basically it. So here, we're just gonna soldier in it, get a little bit of health, I guess. Uh, but as soon as he wakes up, I think he can go for a parasitize. And then when I bring out my aqua drawing one, 
he can go for Parasitize again. He actually woke up. Um, he actually goes for the weights. That's not too bad. Go for Parasitize. Come on, do it. Go for Parasitize. And that's still... Oh, it's actually helping as well. How am I meant to beat this? I don't even know how I'm meant to beat it. I'm putting it to sleep. I don't care. Putting it to sleep. I'm going to start Aqua Drawing it, okay? I don't have, like, anything other, like else really to do other than to do that. That's really it. Okay. Now I'm going to start lowering its melee defenses with my melee one. Well, actually, it's probably best if I go into this one, actually. Although this makes it go last, so I can't really do that. Oh, actually. Actually, let me do this. I think this is the, the right way to do it. I have to barter it because since this one has barter, he gets to go first and gets all of his health back straight away. So I have to barter it first. Because then I get the health amulet, making him not have a health amulet anymore, which is nice. Then I get to Aqua Draw it once. He will probably parasitize me, but he hasn't got a health amulet anymore. I shouldn't get one shot up by a parasitize. I'll probably be two shot up by a parasitize, which means I can get two Aqua Jaws off. And then I can go into my actual melee attack offensive one and hopefully do something with that. We'll see. Even if he lowers my um, speed, it doesn't really matter. But my melee defense being lowered is really bad. But I'm just going to Aqua Jaw it, okay? Our goal here is now to get as many Aqua Jaws off as a row. Although Teaser is probably going to run out very soon. But yeah. If I beat this, okay. I'll, I'll actually be surprised because Terra Claw destroys my team. So yeah, I, I actually lived. Nice. Although he got all of his health back. Nice. I know. Not, not good for me, unfortunately. Like, really not good for me. That's Aqua Jaw again. I don't think it's really worth swapping out or anything. So, Aqua Jaw again. You just want to do as much damage. Is T's actually still up? I guess we'll see. Is T's up still? Okay, still a decent amount of damage. I'll take it. No, actually, T's is still up. Nice. Oh, and he didn't even KO me. That's so amazing. Tease is still up. Oh, wait, is Tease permanent? Is, te is Tease not a... Like, I thought it was, like, Provoke, where it, like, lasts a few turns. It actually might be permanent, so they can't go for anything else. Okay, they go for Prass Size. Oh. I actually completely forgot that it wasn't turn-based. I guess we'll see here. But I'm gonna be a, a Terra Claw, okay? And, to be honest, you, you, you might not consider that as a win. But hear, hear me out. It's a Terror Claw, and I don't have Frost Beam. And even if I had Frost Beam, it probably wouldn't really do that much. So, I'm gonna consider this as a win. I'm not gonna lie, though. Cephalops, because I would say is considered one of the best, if not the best, the best Lumi in the game. Haven't really had much success with it. Although, I'm assuming that my t because my team is um, got. I'm probably. I'm guessing it got leaked probably during the first battle. So uh, yeah, but either way. I even had the first two battles were really hard because two bug types and a gobidemic. What the heck am I meant to do, uh, do against that? Exactly, I can't do anything about that. This is like real unfortunate. So I think this team would actually really work uh, better against teams that only have like maybe one bug type, like most people have on their teams. Um, right now most people don't have a bug type on the team. Like the only bug types people actually bring right now is like Garbantis. I can take a Baron Grum and just one shot it, but. Gobademic on top of that, maybe like Zulongs or Protagons. Meditoad could be another one that I might not even one shot, and then you can just do massive damage. So, I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a lot in the meta game that kind of like deals with Cephalops that are like all jumbled in a team. So, really unfortunate, but I am going to take that as a win, okay? I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later.